This is an EML SYN key um, from the early to mid 70s, I guess. And the first time I saw one of these was at a Frank Zappa concert in London in 1976, I think it was. I'd uh, met Zappa in his hotel for a production meeting, which never led to anything. But uh, he invited me to his concert the next day. And his keyboard player at that time was a friend of mine, Eddie Jobson, a well-known English, uh, actually violinist and keyboard player who played with Curved Air, UK and many other bands. So when I went to the sound check the next day in Hammersmith Odeon, I was taken to the keyboard setup by Eddie and he said, you've got to look at this synthesizer, which Frank really loves. And he's asked me to use it on the concerts. Now, why does Frank like this synthesizer? Well, I can probably play you something right away, which sounds a bit Zappa-esque. <laughs> Now, the very special feature and unique feature of this instrument is that it does parallel harmonies. Now, you can see all these 12, actually 13 buttons here. If we start off with the root note, which is called R. Now, of course, this is an analog synthesizer and has the usual filter and envelope controls that any synth would have. But anyway, you start off with this root note. And to that, I can add an octave up. In fact, the octave only, plus the root. But then you've got all the intervals of the octave in between. All 12 intervals you can add as harmonies. So I'll start off with a fifth. And then we can add, let's say, let's say a minor third. And all the other intervals, so I could add a seventh, a fourth, and if I added all 12, well, it would almost approach white noise, sounding even more Zappa like now. So that is the one special feature of the same key. <laughs>